Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here at the Union's head office in Kingston, London. We're joined by the Regional Secretary for the FBU South East Region, Joe Weir, to discuss a trade dispute that's been launched in Surrey. Now Joe, this is a formal trade dispute that's been launched by the FBU and it calls on management to end a number of unsafe practices, which includes cutting seven fire engines at night. I mean, clearly that's going to create a dangerous situation for everyone involved. Yeah, thanks, Tam. Uh, it, you're, you're correct. It's going to create a, a very dangerous situation for firefighters and residents of Surrey. Um, Surrey Fire and Rescue Service have decided to remove seven pumps at night, which is going to have an impact on the response standard, uh, which Surrey are suggesting, uh, and the information they've put out uh, and stated publicly at Cabinet meetings uh, that they will hit their response standard. Uh, yet the evidence we've produced uh, highlights that that just does not happen. So currently uh, across Surrey Fire and Rescue Service uh, between uh, January and uh, June this year, the response standard was at 77% um, uh, and they're uh, on the retained side, it was 49%. Um, so remove, and that was with the seven pumps in place. So to suggest that removing seven pumps at night is gonna improve the response standard uh, is nonsensical. Absolutely. Now the trade dispute makes a number of other points and it includes intimidation from management. Talk us through that. Yeah, so uh, as you'd expect, firefighters, it's a proud profession uh, and the people in the workplace and the firefighters uh, have got pride in the job they do and the ability to help the residents um, and each other. Uh, and what's happened is, is they've been writing to counsellors, they've been putting stuff out on social media, they've been you know, writing and informing residents, uh, doing the job what Surrey Fire and Rescue Management should be doing, in truth, giving out uh, honest accurate information. Defending the Fire and Rescue Service. Correct, entirely right. Uh, and as a result of that, what we find now is, is that we've had four branch officials uh, invited to disciplinary proceedings. Um, simply because they've contacted councillors highlighting these dangerous, ill-thought-out proposals which are going to have an impact uh, and ultimately uh, lead to uh, increased loss of life across Surrey. So not content with cutting frontline service, management are actually taking disciplinary action against what, firefighters for standing up for it? Yeah, that's correct, Sam. So I was actually in Surrey this week um, sitting with um, uh, uh, one of the individuals uh, in question um, to, to look at the witnesses. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a horrible situation we find ourselves in in Surrey. Uh, and the trade dispute is born out of the fact that members are fed up. They are fed up with being mistreated disregarded by a management um, that in their last um, Her Majesty's Inspectorate report uh, were highlighted as having a bit of a problem with bullying culture within the organisation um, and this just highlights that fact. Now Joe we talk about a trade dispute as trade unionists but of course this involves a ballot for industrial action potentially. I mean what form of industrial action will firefighters be balloting over if it comes to that? Yeah, so we've talked about that, Tam. Um, there will be uh, a presentation made to the Executive Council next week from our Executive Council member, Richard Jones. Uh, in the first instance, it will be action short of strike. Uh, some of the things that are on the list to look at and to be decided um, will be uh, overtime bans. Um, it will be uh, temporary promotions, no temporary promotions, no acting up. Um, and that's because, uh, you know, as we're seeing across the UK Fire and Rescue Service nationally, management are relying on the goodwill of firefighters. They're relying on overtime to prop up a failing uh, organisation where they don't have the courage or, or the gumption to stand up to the government and the councillors and say enough is enough. Absolutely. Now Joe, just finally, I mean, how can the people of Surrey start, get behind the firefighters? How can <coughs> they support you in this campaign? Yeah, so we'd suggest uh, writing to your local councillor, writing to your MP. Um, we've got obviously a Twitter handle um, and there's a campaign that's been launched, Save Surrey 7 um, is the hashtag. Uh, so we'd say, you know, follow us on Twitter, get out. We will be holding rallies and meetings. Um, and on the 8th of October, uh, one of our brigade officials, Lee Belston, will be speaking at full council uh, within Surrey uh, to put our case forward as a result of a petition uh, that is now closed, uh, which we had over 13,000 signatures on, unhappy at the fact that these pumps um, were being lost. Absolutely, Joel. Thanks very much and good luck. For more information on the Surrey campaign, you can go to our website, and that's www.fbu.org.uk, or you can follow us directly on Twitter, and that's simply at FBU National. Until next time, thanks for joining us and thanks, Joe. Good luck. Thanks.